So one thing that, that's good, remember, like I said in the beginning, the keeping your head free and controlling it is super important. So one thing that's gonna happen a lot is when you pass the arm like this, walk around the head, the person can walk like more south of you to here, right? And from here, get this arm around my head. If you get your neck, you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna be in a lot of trouble. It's gonna happen a lot. When you, when you do this, one of the ways he can stop you from sitting up is to just cover your head with his hips. So as he does that, you know, make sure you get your other arm under his arm here. This is gonna protect your head. And now you can sort of go into that same position on either side, right? So if he's walking, just let it If he goes to walk his hips that way, I just reach over and back. I'm in that same position. So I want the person on top now. Once you pass your arm across, he's going to walk around your head. Right? Make sure on bottom that you block this arm from coming to your neck. If you, if you don't address this arm, he's going to catch your neck right away and you're going to be screwed. So block the arm from going. As he goes around, you're just going to transition to doing the same thing on the other side. So just reach over his back here, grab it to the left, I pull this arm out, block his hip, block my way up to my elbow, come up. More. He goes to reach for your head, you pass it over, he steps over your head, make sure your free arm blocks this arm here, and then you just switch to the other side. Right. Lock yourself up to your elbow, once you're on your elbow, place up to your knees, make sure the most important part is his head up high, and when I do this, I'm bringing my elbow down on his head, I want to sort of drive his weight over my knee here. That'll make his feet light, it's easy to scoop. Set it down. One, two, three.